Hi, so um, in today's video I just thought I'd show you a bit about how I look after my brushes. Um, so some people have asked me um, how I clean my brushes, uh, so this is when I'm using watercolour um, and also how I keep the shape of them nice. So um, there's various things that I do when I'm using my brushes. So I tend to use predominantly synthetic brushes um, as I find they keep the shape uh, the best and um, they tend to hold it uh, well. So what I do when I'm sort of in between using brushes uh, when I'm doing a painting is I'll leave them flat on um, an old tea towel. So I don't leave them for long periods sat in my water uh, pot because then all the pressure is down on the brush hairs at the end there. So that will start to curl the hairs round on the end of your brush so that will um, help to keep the shape of your brush nice and pointy still uh, if you keep them flat most of the time so whenever you finish using your brush rinse it out and pop it down flat um, the other thing is so when I'm cleaning my brushes um, so I have two water pots I have one so say so I've got um, uh, some paint on my brush. So I'm also quite gentle with my brush when I'm using it in my paint and things. So I'm not stabbing it into the palette or, you know, being really rough with it. I'm just uh, smoothly and gently moving it over a surface, be it the paper or my palette or my paint. Um, so we've got paint on that brush now. Uh, if I was to use that on my paper, what I would do is just roll the end as I bring it off the paint there and off the palette. So I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just rolling it as I bring it up. And that also then means I've got that lovely point on the end of the brush when I go to put it on my paper. Um, if I want to rinse my brush out, I will do it in my dirty water pot, so I'll have a, a dirty one and a clean pot. So rinse it in there first and what I do is if you imagine that the bottom is dirty and you're um, touching the bottom of the pot there, swirling it round and rotating it as well in my fingers. So there's a very light pressure, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm swirling it round and then I touch it to the sides of the pot as well. So swirl it around so it's touching the bottom so it's like you're cleaning the bottom of the pot so I'm not pressing down really hard, I'm just doing nice smooth movements on the bottom and then I'll bring it up so I'll get the sides of the brush against the side of the pot and it'll be turning around so I cover all those sides. Shake that water off and then into the clean water pot and you can see what I'm doing again. So just brush it along the bottom of the pot in circular movements and then get the sides of the brush going around the side of the pot. So nice and gently, I'm not you know doing any of that, it's just nice gentle movements Okay, and that will help clean your water, uh, your brush out nicely. Um, once I've finished, or if I'm cleaning my water out, I will take all the brushes that I've used, you know, finish with that brush. Uh, I get some of the excess off the edge of the pot like that. Just spin my brush around as I'm doing that, just get some of the excess of the water there and then you can roll it on your uh, paper towel or tea towel if you want to um, but just I just leave that there until you know I might use it again in my painting I might not all the brushes that I've used will then be on that tea towel take those through uh, to my sink at the end and I'll show you what I do then so I'm now at my sink and I've got my brushes with me I've got my water pots so I will clean out the dirty water first and I will use one brush at a time and I will literally use it to clean the pot so 
that against the sides, clean your water pots, clean water in there, rinse the edges, get any residue off there, rinse that out, and that will help to clean your brush. I'll also just run it under the tap for a little bit, so this is um, after I've finished painting for a while, and just just push the brush a little bit so it splays them out a little bit, just turn it around so you make sure any last bit of paint is off there and I then get that on a paper towel and I will just do what I normally do, so dry off the wood and just press, well I'm not pressing, I'm just resting it on the paper towel there and just rotating the brush around, getting rid of any excess off the hairs there, dangled slightly down and then you get the nice point and that will just keep that point um, till it dries and that's how you can maintain your lovely shape on your brushes for longer. Um, so when I'm leaving it to dry now I'm not going to leave that upright like that because any uh, water that is left in those bristles will then soak down the ferrule so that's this metal bit and into the wood and that will make that go horrible and it start to loosen and go um, start to lose hairs and things so I then leave my brush uh, on my water pot like that to dry so you know even better would be so it's slightly down if you can do so the water is going you know away from the wood and the metal there so and then I just do the same again with all my other brushes so I just hold them under the water rotate them just get any last bits out of there just rotate on the paper towel to get any excess off there just lift it off and get that lovely shape back and leave it to dry up there on my windowsill. So that is how I maintain my brushes, um, so keep them nice and clean and maintain the shape for as long as possible. So I hope you found that helpful and enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!